So today we're gonna to be talking about a couple different loadouts. Here I have two examples of the standard infantry loadout for both the United States Army and the United States Marine Corps. Corey, can you tell us about the U.S. Army's infantry loadout? Uh, basically, this is basic infantry, um, and then obviously it would hold the uh, M blocks, which would have eight rounds and ten of them. And I also have leggings, which were standard issue with the uh, World War II uh, garrison boots. And I have the M1 helmet and the haversack with the T-handle shovel. And of course, I have my canteen on the cartridge belt. And also the uh, gas mask bag, the kidney one, that was uh, issued. A lot of uh, infantry would actually just discard this since they were used them. Cool. And Jim, can you tell us about the USMC infantry loadout? Well, basically, we got similar stuff to what the Army has. We got our uh, experimental camouflage uniform with a cartridge belt for ammunition. Got a couple of canteens and the haversack to carry all the extra gear. And of course, the rifle, the most important part of the gear. Mm -hmm. This is the M1 30 caliber semi automatic rifle. It's a semi automatic gas operated rifle, fires a 30 caliber cartridge from an eight round M block clip. It's got a maximum effective range of about 450 yards and can penetrate four inches of concrete at 200 yards. It's very rugged, reliable, and accurate. It's got a lot of firepower. I think one thing that's interesting too is that when this rifle was introduced, it was basically the first semi-automatic standard infantry issue rifle. It really changed a lot of uh, what infantry combat was like during the war because you had much greater firepower, uh, rate of fire, and potential, uh, especially for when the engagements got really, really close. So the M1 Garand is a very cool rifle, and one of the main ones that you can get for Airsoft is the G&G 